Good morning, I'm John Payne, Senior Vice President and Chief Information Officer at Associated Wholesale Grocers. I'd like to take a moment this morning out of your busy day to discuss the impending shift in responsibility for credit card fraud that will take place on October 1st, 2015. This date coincides with the implementation deadline by the credit card companies for a fraud reduction technology called EMV. The credit card industry has developed over the last 10 years the new technology to combat card fraud, one of the most significant improvements that has the potential to reduce card present fraud is called EMV. So what is EMV? EMV stands for EuroPay, MasterCard, and Visa, the companies that form the standard. The technology has been in place and been used globally for over 10 years. EMV is a credit card with an embedded microchip utilizing new encryption and processing technologies that's collectively referred to as chip and pin. A sales transaction with an EMV card is similar to how debit cards with a pin are processed today. EMV is the most sweeping change in credit card fraud prevention since the magnetic stripe was introduced in the 1960s. EMV technology has the potential to reduce card present fraud by over 90%. Surprisingly, the United States is the last of the largest 20 world economies to adopt EMV. Many countries have been mandated by their governments to implement EMV. The size and complexity of the U.S. retail economy and the sheer number of issuing banks and credit card companies has contributed to the slow U.S. adoption. The worldwide success of EMV in reducing card present fraud has finally forced the issue in the United States. Please join me in watching this brief two-minute video provided by First Data showing the EMV process at work at a front-end register. For years now, credit and debit card payments have been accepted by swiping the card through a magnetic stripe reader. But that's about to change as a technology called EMV, long embraced around the globe, arrives in the United States. With EMV, a small computer chip embedded in the payment card stores cardholder data, protects it from being modified or counterfeited, and most importantly, reduces the chance of fraud if the card is lost or stolen. The customer is ready to pay and presents a credit or debit card that's embedded with an EMV chip. The consumer inserts the card into the card reader. Don't worry if the customer mistakenly swipes their EMV-enabled card through the magnetic stripe reader, the terminal will prompt them to instead insert the card. The card must be inserted chip side up and it must be left there throughout the transaction. Another change consumers will notice is that when their bank issues their payment card, they may be assigned a personal identification number or PIN on their credit card just as they are with their debit card today. The PIN pad or terminal will provide prompts to help them through the simple process which typically instructs them to enter their PIN. When the transaction is complete, the pin pad or terminal will instruct the customer to remove the card. EMV works with contactless cards too. The merchant enters the sale amount and the customer simply taps the card, again following the simple prompts. Over the next few years, EMV is expected to become a fraud prevention standard in the United States. In fact, banks have already started issuing payment cards with EMV chips. So we encourage you to begin preparing now, especially if it's time to upgrade your point of sale equipment. For more information, contact your First Data sales representative or visit firstdata.com. So how does EMV apply to AWG retailers? In the event of credit card fraud today, the brunt of the liability rests with the financial institutions and the credit card companies. Effective October 1st, the fraud liability shifts to the AWG member if an EMV card is used in a fraudulent transaction and they have not converted to EMV technology. Almost all new cards being distributed have the EMV technology built in. That figure is expected to reach 100% by October of 2015. As EMV has been implemented, criminals refocus their attention and resources onto those retail companies that have been slow to change. EMV adoption will clearly be a significant investment by many retailers in upgrading their front-end systems. The, and the liability shift is coming October 1st, 2015. If you have not already adopted EMV and are planning on doing so before October 1st, 
contact your local POS dealer to discuss what needs to happen with your POS system to implement EMV. Upgrading to EMV is much more than just plugging in a new pin pad. If you have not kept your front end system up to date, this may involve software and hardware upgrades, replacements of registers, scales, and servers in addition to the new pin pads. Shortages of EMV enabled pin pads and the technical resources to perform these upgrades are already being reported. The lead time is several weeks to acquire these terminals. Don't procrastinate and thank you very much for your time and attention. Yeah.